guys, Chris Rudnick here, and today we got a package from our company, JumpForLess.net. So let's open this thing. Hopefully I don't kill myself with this knife here, but you know, I'm just gonna, according you might have to bring me to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah! First thing I see. Okay, so as you guys know, I wear this hat every day, so I wear it to the skate park. Every hat gets a sweat mark, so I got hooked up with another hat, you know, out with the old and with the new. All right, another junk hat. Hell yeah, I'm pumped right now. Okay, so we got the hats for sale. What else we got in here? There's a lot. Hell yes, Courtney, you know what this is? I think I do. This oh, is fucking yes. sick. I am so stoked on this shirt. So we got this one, and I'm pretty sure we, yeah, we got the same one, but white. Courtney, this one's for you. <gasps> really? Yeah, because I can't wear white. I love it. Okay. I can't wear white, and this is for Courtney right here. <gasps> Thank you! And this is for my boy. We got one more, which is perfect. This is for my boy, Anton. Yo, dude! What's going on? What's going on, man? How you been? Good, how are you? I'm trying to convince this dude to move to Florida. Look, I got you a shirt. Dude, does this mean you're making my shirt? Oh, we still do have to make his shirt, but... Um, what what do you think? I like it. What do you think they should do? www.junkforless.net Go to it right now. So Anton just took about two hours of my day. We've been FaceTiming, he showed me his kid. You guys will see her soon, don't worry. I just had to cut that clip short because my memory was running out on my camera and I wanted to end it with Anton. But anyways, we also have lanyards, it's on pre-order. We put them up yesterday, I haven't even talked about them yet and they're almost gone. We literally only have 75 left. I think we ordered like 150 of them, but from right now, there's 75, so even maybe when this video is up, there's probably gonna be like 20, 30, I really don't know. So definitely go into the bio below, go get your merch, go get the junk lanyards, and you should receive everything within the week. So, we're gonna go to the Harbor Freight right now, then we're gonna go to the shop because some shit went down with the Civic. All right guys, so today's video, we're starting off at Harbor Freight. You already know it's a bad day when we're starting it off at Harbor Freight. Something Ooh, happened with the Civic. Day. You think so? I mean, I'm here to buy something to fix something so that means something's broken so that means it's a bad day so far but yeah but that just means more content for you <laughs> still sucks I'm gonna have to use these for one more month until Anton brings my lift hey, so we're leaving hard for free you know I think this is a good advertisement www.junk for less um, you know we got the same kind of coupons we got the same kind of deals go get your junk merch you know what I'm saying Let's go um, put these puppies to use. So guys, last clip you actually saw was yesterday. Yesterday I went to Harbor Freight, I got some jack stands, and after that, I looked at the shop, it was kind of cluttered, it was kind of messy, so I kind of just spent the day just organizing everything, kind of just building my racks, um, trying to fit my cars in a tight area so they're kind of out of the way. Um, Ruckus is still right there, man, I really wish some sponsors would get back to me so we can start on this build, but I just have so much money invested in all these other ones that, that it would be very nice if I can have some sponsors help with that. But anyways, guys, I want to tell you a little story here. Two nights ago, we did the transmission. Yes, it took me a little long, but at the end of the day, it, it was done, it worked, everything was good. So after that, we cleaned up HP. Me and Marcus, I was like, yo, I want to go hit some boost real quick. So. He's like, all right, I want to come. We lock up HP, whatever. And then uh, I'm shifting through the gears, making sure everything's good, you know, uh, first, second, third. All right, clutch is great, it works, everything's done. So I'm like, all right, let's downshift back into first. I'm like, all right, here we go. First gear, you ready for this, Marcus? Like full boost, I can't wait to smack second, third. I hit two pounds of boost in first gear. Car starts, stops moving. Doesn't move at all. I have no idea what happened. Like. The clutch still has pressure, it still has weight to it, I can still shift in the gears, I can still do everything. I didn't hear any crazy noises, I didn't hear nothing. My, my money's on an axle. I think like maybe the axle snapped, which would blow my mind. I don't even know how that would happen, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this thing on jack stands right now, and we're really gonna dive into today's video with what the hell is wrong with my Civic. This thing's definitely a love-hate relationship. All right, well, this thing is in the air now. Um, the first, I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see, I'm gonna spin the axles, cause that's where my money is, the axles. Can you see? Kind of. Well, the axle's moving. Cause I was afraid that like, where the axle goes inside the transmission, like that little shaft snapped. But it doesn't, that side doesn't seem like it. I don't know, it spins. 
check this side. This one spins too. What the hell? I gotta pull this transmission again. I'm gonna be very, very, very upset. All right, well, I just went to HP before I started ripping this transmission out. I just wanted to make sure, like, what could be wrong in this scenario right now. And I just talked to Jack. I walked him through the whole scenario. He thinks it's the input shaft. He tells me if I turn on the car and I can put it into gear without the clutch, input shaft is snap. And I'm scared because Roberto told me the same thing the other day. So here we go. We're gonna go in the car. We're gonna start it. And I'm gonna try to shift it without a clutch. If it does, then I, I'm gonna die. Uh, today is my death day. Here we go. No, no way. Come on, dude. You're joking. The input shaft snapped. It snapped. Civic couldn't handle all that boost. We're pulling the transmission today, boys. Okay, so we're doing good. Honestly, I'm busting ass today. So I started at 340, it is now 351. And I got both axles disconnected, both upper control arms disconnected, um, both tie rods disconnected, and I am draining the fluid right now. I am going so fast right now. I just want this transmission out. Um, I need to find one also. Obviously we're not gonna get one today, but I would like to find one tomorrow and get this thing back up and running ASAP. On the bright side, at least I'm gonna get better at pulling these transmissions because the first time did take me a long time, but I'm confident that I can get this thing under, I can get this thing out in under an hour now. So it's draining right now. I'm gonna let it drain, do its thing, and I'm gonna keep grinding. All right, so I need a time check. Time check, Courtney, what time is it? Ooh, I like your shirt, girl. Thank you. What time? Time check. 4.35. 4.35, we, I was filming at 3.51, so not bad. All the bolts are out. All I have to do is put a pry bar in between this. And honestly, I could probably just shake it off a little. I, geez. I'm gonna get a pry bar on that sucker. Okay, now the transmission is about to be out. So last time I took it out, I didn't take the down pipe off. It was stupid and I almost did it again, but it was in the way. I was just like, fuck it. Marcus was like, dude, just take it out. I'm like, you're right, I probably should. So I took the down pipe off, and now I just fucking banged it with a hammer, because you know, it's fucking not the down pipe the transmission, because the transmission's junk now, but it's about to be out. I'm a little nervous, but I'm just gonna go for it, Courtney. You ready for this? I'm ready. Ready? This is the make it break it point. This is either the transmission falls or I did this successfully like a Honda boy. Here we go. I consider that a success. That was a success. Yeah? And you know what's not broken, Marcus? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What the fuck, dude? So guys, I thought the input shaft was bad because it wouldn't shift. When I didn't have my foot on the clutch, it would still go into gear. And Jack said if that's the case, then the input shaft is snapped. But like, if you zoom in over here, I can literally just move this all around. This thing's moving. Everything's moving, everything's doing its thing. I mean, I'm no transmission god, but that looks like a pretty healthy fucking input shaft to me. So I'm gonna go talk to my, is Jack still at the shop? Shit, no one's there. Cool, okay. So about eight to 10 minutes ago, the transmission was out. So I'd say an hour and, hour and five minutes it took me to do that, which honestly, I think, isn't that bad for my second time? Yeah, the first time, definitely a huge improvement. So, and this is on jack stands. Before I had a lift and everything, so I think that's pretty impressive. But, dude, sometimes jack stands a little easier. Look at this fucking dude in my blueberry. I think sometimes jack stands could be a little easier because the way you have it, 
with a lift, you never want to lay on the ground. So you're going to go up, you're going to go down, you're going to go up, you're going to go down. This, you don't give a fuck. You know you're going to get dirty. So you're like, all right, I need to do this underneath. Fuck it. Just crawl underneath. Oh, I need to go up top. Oh, I can still stand. Everything's good. But we have this little contraction here. And if you spin the axle, the input shaft doesn't move. So that's cool. Um, I don't know. Maybe that means the diff's blown or something. I really don't know. But this transmission's probably toast. So we just, um, I just posed for this thumbnail. I, I just got off the phone with Jack. He told me that it's probably still the input shaft. The input shaft doesn't snap where you can see it. It snaps inside of it, which how the fuck would I know that? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start to take this transmission apart. Um, never done it before, so I'm kind of just weighing it, but the input shaft's bad, it's bad, and it would have to come apart to get fixed. If you can even fix it, I don't even know, but we're gonna end up getting a new transmission. If anyone is in the West Palm area and they have one of these transmissions, one of these bad girls right now, DM VAR860 and me. Um, Alex has a better respond rate than I do. And um, give me a price, let me know. I would love to pick it up tomorrow because I really don't want to pull one of these at the junkyard. I really, really, really don't. Even though it'd be great content for you guys, it would suck for the little ruddy over here. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get these bolts off and then we'll show you the money shot. All right, so I just got all the bolts out. Let's see. She really does want to come off. All right, we're just gonna film when I get this fucking thing off. Okay. What'd you say? Did you pull out all the detents? What's the detents mean? Don't worry about it. Okay, well, this is my first time taking the transmission apart but I watched the video and the video really helped. It's what the hell is all that? Remember that D10 that's on your belt? What's a D10? It's like what holds, I, I don't know how to explain it well, but it's kind of like, you know when you like move the shifter in neutral and there's like resistance coming from both sides? Yeah, like that. the ball right here. Right, and then also what holds it in gear for you so it doesn't pop out, but you're fine. How the fuck do I get to the input shaft? You, you see the little things? spring right there? Yeah. That's where the detents are, so usually you want to pull those out beforehand. But you're fine. You're fine. Well, the transmission's never going back together. Oh, okay, then don't even more. Then fuck me right in the pussy, then. I just want to, I want to look at the input shaft, and I want to look that it's damaged, so. Well, here's your main shaft, so the input shaft's going to be at the end of that. At the end of this? Yeah. That's interesting. How do you get there? I'm going to call that up. Well, I'd probably, I mean, this is all together, so, like, you could literally just put this on the side, I think it's going to fall out. Oh, really? Yeah, and then you can look and see. There's, here's more of your little detent balls. Oh, oh, there's three of them. Yeah, Perfect. every time every time you see a spring, you're going to have a little ball. So if I wanted to put this together, all I would do is I'd take this bolt out a little, those, put them and back then the balls the you put the spring right in the middle towards right. the end, right? You see these little notches? Yeah. That's where the spring sits. So that way, like when you go in gear and you feel that, like, like that, that's that's the ball going so from one So it's the groove, notch. Going from one groove to the other, correct. Really? That's, yeah. Okay. So if, if your input shaft broke, It's not spinning anything. Uh, Don't tell me it's not broken. It doesn't seem to be broken. Shut the hell up. What do you mean? It has to be. Yeah, I probably went to sleep before. 45 minutes? Marcus was sleeping on the roadster. Not dude. What do you mean not dude? It's not broken. No, it's a dick. Well, what else could it be? You're positive the input shaft's not broken. 100%. I mean, look, I'm moving the fucking main shaft with it. So what would cause the input shaft? Because what I did was I started the car up mm -hmm. and I put it in gear without the clutch. And it just went right in. But did it move? No. I mean, did you ever check your diff? No. Okay, so quick diagnosis of your problem, right? Engine, spinny transmission over here. Mm -hmm. And then it's supposed to spinny axle thingies over here. As you can see, can, engine can spinny, axles, the axles no, don't no, move. No spinny. Um, <laughs> no spinny. No <laughs> spinny. So, but so typically how this works is energy or rotation goes from gear to gear to gear down a diff to your wheels. Yeah. Somewhere in here, something that either splines together or something that's supposed to like jive and click and bang has separated. So I have a question. Yeah. Could this, could this have been caused from us shaking, shaking the fuck no. out of it? So. No. It was this was point. not my fault. No, it was, it was a weak point. You know what I mean? This, this will happen to a stock car if you drive it long enough. You know what I really? mean? Really? So, so it just, 
Dude, it just so happens I pull a transmission and then the next day it goes. Yeah, you go into a little bit of a, you know, Rudnick boost. I went into a little bit of Rudnick boost. Well, guys, that means we needed a fucking new transmission. So go down in the comments, put your Instagram. If you have one, like legit, if you have one, put your Instagram in the comments if you live near West Palm and I will buy your transmission. Does this look cool? Okay. New transmission. One boat, can you help me move a car? Well, guys, this sucks, but at the end of the day, I'm glad that it wasn't my fault, but look at this. Me and Courtney are twinning. Look, you got this shirt on, you got my shirt on, black and white. Hell yeah, she already ruined it though. No, I fixed it, that's you just wet it. now. She got a vape stain on it. Little Will, little vape stain, you got a vape stain? Should I get you a sticker? Vape no, stain? I'm ashamed. Well, if you guys have relationships, if you want relationship goals, right there. I'm like, this is the best day ever. The best day yeah, ever, because we're in the same shirt. It is sick. We're gonna go get some we're burgers, because so I'm starving. I had a Pop-Tart this morning and that's it. I'm bummed about the transmission. DM me. How do you like it? This These is Courtney's fries? favorite burger joint. Give them a shout out. Habit, the habit. Shout out to the habit. Mm. What are these fries? Parmesan? You don't even know. I forget what they're called, but they're so good. And they're like limited time, so. Get on it. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. Just got back from habit. It was delicious, sadly. I don't have anything else to do for a video, and um, this is it, man. I mean, until we get a transmission, I'm gonna look tonight. I mean, I'm really hoping one of you guys has a transmission, but I'm also gonna look tonight to see if there's one like the Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that, because my last resort is the junkyard. Like, if I have to go to a junkyard tomorrow, I guess I will, but I really, really, really don't wanna do this in the junkyard. But, um, before we go, I just, I'm curious to see if any of you guys want this, I mean, I don't personally need it, so I was thinking I was gonna sell this thing for 800 bucks. I just checked on eBay, and you can get them from anywhere from nine to $1,100, so I figured I'd price mine at 800 bucks. Try to get it sold quickly. I mean, it works and everything. Like, it turns right on, it's got the newest update. I just literally have no use for this, and I'd much rather sell it and get car parts for videos and content and all that stuff, and I mean, I've owned this thing for quite some time. Anton needed some money, so I just bought it from him as a favor, and I just never used it since. So anyways, that's gonna be on www.junkforless.net if you guys are interested. I mean, honestly, you could probably make a good 200 bucks if you wanna flip it real quick or sell it to one of your buddies that work at a dealership. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more, you know what I mean? And hopefully tomorrow we have a transmission or we know we're at least getting another one. So I will see you guys tomorrow with the next update. Thanks for watching. Someone go buy this, please.